hello guys so let's look at hybridization and how to predict the hybridization of atoms present in a particular compound now one way to go about this is to note the following now for carbon for carbon atoms whenever you have all sigma bond now before we go into that we know that carbon has a valency of how many carbon has a valency of four are we getting it now that means to say that there are usually four bonds around carbon atom usually four bonds around carbon atom now if all the four bonds are single bonds that is to say they are sigma bonds if they are sigma bonds or single bonds the hybridization is sp3 now in a situation where you have three sigma bonds this sigma let me use this symbol to three sigma and then one pi bond the hybridization is sp then when you have two sigma bonds and two pi the hybridization is sp this is sp2 and this is sp now whenever you are given a question like this are you asked to predict the hybridization or how many sp3 hybridized carbons are here let's start with sp3 hybridized carbon now the first thing you do is to bring this compound out in the normal line formula bringing out all the uh, carbon and hydrogen now at this point there is a carbon here at this point there is a carbon here this is a carbon here there is a carbon here a carbon here a carbon here another carbon here and then the last carbon there and then one carbon here and one carbon here of course we know that this is nitrogen so how do we go about predicting the hybridization first of all we must balance up the valences now carbon has a valency of four that means there's supposed to be four bonds around carbon here but here you have just one bond so what are you going to do you are going to add two three hydrogen to complete it four now this one is already complete four there are one two three four so you don't need to add hydrogen now if you come here there are two bonds around this carbon which is one and two so it means that you have to add how many hydrogens two hydrogens here now same thing is applicable here this one and two bonds so you need to add how many hydrogens two hydrogens then this one is also what two hydrogens this one has how many bonds three bonds how many hydrogens you need to add one this one you need to add two hydrogen and then here practically you add three hydrogen to make it complete four in the same vein here this one two three you add one hydrogen here then here you add three hydrogen so these are the um the number of carbon and hydrogen in this molecule now if you are asked to predict for sp3 what you do is consider those ones that have four hydrogens around them or four bonds around them in such a way that all the bonds are single bond four bonds around and all the bonds are single now you agree with me that here there are how many bonds around this one two three are what four and all of them are single bonds so this one is what sp3 hybridized now if you look at this one this one has one two three four bonds around it but one of the bonds is a double bond are we getting it now now whenever you have three sigma and then one pi bond is sp2 around the carbon atom okay so this carbon atom here it has one two then three sigma bond then one pi bond Another thing that you need to know is whenever you have a double bond, whenever you have a double bond, whenever you have a double bond, one of the bond, one is sigma and the other one is pi. Now, if you have a triple bond, one is sigma and then the two are pi bond say if i have let's say three bonds like this it means two of these bond are pi and then one is what is a sigma bond so in this case now this one has one two 
this is sigma because we said all single bonds are sigma and here there are two pi there are two bonds here which is a double bond one of these bonds is pi and another one is what sigma so around this carbon atom there are three sigma bond which is one two three and how many pi one pi so this carbon here is what sp2 hybridized now same way we are coming here now this sigma bond of course we know single bonds are sigma so this sigma this sigma and this another sigma there are four sigma bond around this carbon so this is sp3 same way applicable here there are four sigma bonds around here so this is also what sp3 this is also what sp3 because there are four bonds around it of which no one is double no one is what tripled this is also what sp3 this is also sp3 there are four bonds one two three four four single bonds around it this one is also what sp3 there are four single bonds around it and then this one is it sp3 or sp2 now try and guess what do you think will be the hybridization for this now this carbon here this is a pi bond we say whenever we have a double bond one is a sigma and the other is a pi bond so here is pi and here is sigma here is sigma and here is sigma so we have three sigma bond and one pi bond so this is what the hybridization for this is sp2 and then this one has four sigma bond so this one is sp3 okay so in total now the carbon atoms considering the carbon atoms how many sp3 carbon atoms are here you have this one this one one sp3 let me use the white to circular the sp3 this one then this another sp3 another sp3 another sp3 then we have one sp3 here then one sp3 here and then one sp3 here and finally one sp3 here so for this carbon basically there are one two three four five six and seven sp3 carbon there are seven sp3 carbon now how many sp2s are here this one this one sp2 and then is there any other sp2 here um this is another sp2 here there's one here so in this compound we have two sp2 carbon okay two sp2 carbon so sorry let's count again this one this two this three four five then six seven and eight so we have eight and not seven eight sp3 carbons so there are eight sp3 carbons present here and then two sp2 carbons so that is basically that for this one now the rest are sure that this is not the particular question in your notes now let me explain the one that you have i just use this one to give you an example so that you know what we are talking about before we predict the one that is in the uh something you sent now for this particular case you see that there are similar structures but the only difference is this one has a does not have a bond here and then this has a bond here now let's bring out our carbons this is a carbon here this is a carbon this is a carbon a carbon a carbon 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 and what finally carbon now what do we do in this case now let's add our hydrogens of course we know here three hydrogens we enter here here there is no hydrogen here one we come in here one we come in here to make it four two we come in here one we come in here to make it four two we come in here and then three we come in here we know why they are coming in to make the valency of carbon to be completely what four now at this point in time we cannot predict their 
hybridization now this one has all sigma bonds right four sigma bonds so definitely this is what sp3 now this carbon has sigma pi sigma sigma three sigma one pi so what hybridization is that sp2 now this one is what also sp2 why because it's pi sigma sigma and what sigma now let's consider this this is pi bond sigma here is sigma and here is what sigma bond now let's consider this carbon sigma 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 then there's a pi bond here so this is also sp2 this has all sigma bond so it's sp3 this has all sigma bond is sp3 this has all sigma bond sp3 and this has all sigma bond sp3 this is pi bond sigma 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 3 sigma 1 pi sp2 and here is all sigma bond sp3 so we say all single bonds are sigma bonds all single bonds are sigma bonds hence that is the reason why we are taking whenever we just see four single bond we said is what they are all sigma bond now when we have four sigma bond we said the hybridization is what is sp3 so let's circle out our sp3s and count this one then we have two three four five and what six so in this compound we have six sp3 carbon six sp3 carbon now you may be asked how many sp2 carbons this one two three then three four there are four sp2 carbons there are four sp2 carbons that is basically how to predict the sp3 carbons and the sp2 carbon are we getting it now now let's continue let's say you are given something like this are you asked what is the hybridization of the nitrogen now in most cases whenever nitrogen has three bonds the hybridization is usually for nitrogen whenever it has three bonds the hybridization is usually what sp the hybridization is usually what sp okay so the hybridization of this nitrogen here is what is sp and that of carbon also is what sp why is that of carbon sp because this is a sigma bond this is two pi bond from here and one sigma this three bond two are pi one is sigma so you have two pi and two sigma so you that whenever you have two pi two sigma the hybridization is what sp now same applicable here this sigma bond this two pi this sigma and then here is what sigma now considering this carbon this sigma bond sigma that is two sigma then this pi two pi two sigma two pi is what sp so the hybridization here is sp okay now considering this this sigma sigma and two pi two sigma or two pi two sigma hybridization is sp so that's basically how to know the hybridization of the carbon and the nitrogen atom the hybridization here is sp the hybridization here is what is uh sp for the carbon and the nitrogen now how about you are asked to determine the number of pi bonds here now we say wherever you have a triple bond two of the bonds are pi and one is what sigma wherever you have a double bond one is a pi bond and the other is sigma here one is pi and the other is what sigma okay is sigma so in this case now how many sigma bonds are here there are two sigma and then two pi for this part now for this part how many sigma are here there is just one sigma for this carbon here we are not asked for the sigma so let's leave sigma and face pi 
Now here we said there are two pi here, two pi bone, and here there are other two pi bone. So in total now, how many pi bonds are we having in this question? Two pi plus two pi is what four pi bond. So in this compound we have four pi bonds. Four pi bonds. Now so that is basically all for how to predict the hybridization now in some cases you may be asked to state the amount of sigma bonds present in this case they ask you for the pi bond so how do we determine the amount of sigma bonds present okay how do we determine the amount of sigma bonds now for you to determine the sigma bonds present you must bring out all the hydrogen present in this compound now, of course, we know hydrogen is here. Hydrogen is here because there is a carbon here which will make the valency to be what? 4. Now, this is complete. How about this? Is there any hydrogen here? This carbon here, the valency is complete. This carbon here, the valency is what? Complete. So, if I want to bring this out, there is carbon here, there is carbon here, and all the valencies are complete because this is 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 1, 2, 3, 4 for this particular one so let's predict the number of sigma bond of course we know every single bond is a sigma bond so this is sigma this is sigma and this is what 2 pi then this is a sigma bond this is a sigma bond this is a sigma bond and this is sigma this is pi wherever we see a double bond one is sigma and the other is a pi bond so here is a sigma bond and here is a pi bond so in total now how many sigma bonds are we having here we have one two let me take them out one two three four five six seven so in this compound we have seven sigma bonds and then how many pi bonds now we said initially that we have four pi bonds which are these four on green so we have four pi bonds so that is basically how to predict the hybridization of atoms that are present in a particular compound thank you